Forest Centre Community Orchard. What I'm going to talk to you about today is grafting and pollination and how that ties into picking, picking your own um, fruit tree. So normally what people do when they want a, uh, an apple variety is you go and buy it from a store. So for example, if you would like a Chelmsford Wonder tree, um, you would go just simply buy it. But a lot of effort goes into creating that variety of apple. So these apples here, for example, have been pollinated by this tree and other trees and then created and made on the branches from the flowers that form. Um, but the seeds inside won't produce trees that produce fruit that taste the same as this apple. What that means is that although this apple tastes like a, a Chelmsford Wonder apple, its offspring won't taste the same and that's because of the way that apple pollination works. So when you're buying a fruit tree you have to be very careful about buying the variety you want. You can't just grow an apple seed from the core that you buy from the supermarket for example. Although you can actually, you can grow the seed and it will grow into an apple tree, the, the flavour of the fruit will be different to the fruit that you enjoyed when you, you bought that apple core. And that's all to do with pollination. So this apple tree might be pollination group three, for example, and it needs to be pollinated by a different variety other than itself. Most apple varieties require a different variety of apple to pollinate, they can't self-pollinate. So a pollination group three can be pollinated by a group four, a group five, or a group two, or a group one. Generally, groups one to five are the ones we have, and they are telling you about when the flowering season for that variety is. So group one have early flowering seasons, group five have later flowering seasons. Normally, any variety can pollinate with any variety within about two, um, within about two pollination groups of itself, hence why pollination group three can kind of pollinate with anything. The, the overlap times are there, um, but it's better to be safe than sorry, hence why we have a, a variety here of groups three, four, and five just to make sure that they're all kind of able to pollinate each other. And generally, you need a pollinating tree within about 45 meters of your tree. So when you go and, if you want to go and buy an apple tree, make sure you buy two of nearby pollination groups, because if they don't pollinate each other, they won't produce apples. So you might be asking then, well, how do we make sure that this variety here of Chunks of Wonder is the same taste as what was created way back in the 1800s when this variety was first made? But we do that through a process called grafting. So what you would typically do nowadays is take a cutting from the tree. It doesn't need to be about that long. You need to make sure you have a couple of good buds, a couple of good growths on it. You, during winter time, when there aren't any leaves on the tree, you take a cutting from there, you physically bind it to a rootstock. Now a rootstock is a, a separate tree that you've grown specifically for its roots. Often you do um, varieties of crab apple, and depending on the rootstock depends how vigorously the tree is going to grow. So for example, if I wanted quite a large tree, I might find a vigorous growing rootstock, cut off the top of the, the um, sapling, so I just have its rootstock, cut off this part of the plant, bind them together, leave them for a couple months and they will hopefully take and form with each other. Now obviously the process is a little bit more complicated than that, there's specific types of cuts and what I've just described is only one variety of grafting called uh, whip grafting or bench grafting. Um, but that is how you keep the same flavour and the same variety. You're effectively taking the top half of the tree is a clone from the tree which has the apples that you like the flavour of rather than growing the actual seed. And if you grow the actual seed from an apple variety several generations in a row, they'll revert back to crab apples. They have no kind of pressure on them, um, keeping them in the right, the right flavour as it were. Well. And that's how you want to see grafting. And it's an important thing to know when you go and buy a tree, because a lot of work has gone into that sapling, which is why you might not be surprised if an apple sapling is a bit more expensive um, than an oak tree or a birch, for example, because a lot more work has to go into it. And the pollination side is now why you know that if you want to grow your own apples in your garden, you need to look up pollination groups and hopefully have one or two varieties relatively close to each other with neighbouring pollination groups. And that way, not only do you get to enjoy your apples when they flower, but the trees are more likely to produce apples because they've pollinated from one another. Um, thank you for listening today. Um, the orchard is owned and managed by Forestry England and we're very thankful for their help in looking after it. 
uh, if you are interested in buying some tree saplings for your garden or perhaps you have a, a larger planting project in mind, come see us at the Thames Chase um, Community Tree Nursery. We have a variety of different species for sale. We only have crab apples at this time, but we have other fruiting trees such as damsons, such as blackthorn, which produces slow berries. Um, we have gelder rose, which is really good for wildlife. Um, dogwood does a similar thing. We also have um, some very knowledgeable people who can help you with picking the right type of apple for your garden. What I would recommend is doing some research online, coming to us with a bit of an idea about what you would like, or just come to us with, this is a type of apple that I really enjoy the flavour of. How would I go about doing this work? And we might be able to give you a bit of a point in the right direction for grafting. We ourselves are undertaking um, some grafting kind of lessons as it were. Everyone has to learn to move forward in life. Um, and so we hope to be able to, by winter 2021, sell the varieties of apple that we have in the tree nursery. We're hoping to be able to graft some of them, some of them ourselves and be able to produce each year some of the varieties here to go out and be sold to wider members of the public such as yourselves, but also to gap up our own orchard. We have some little spaces here where the tree trees haven't made it for whatever reason. Perhaps there was a bit of a drought that summer or there was a bit of stress from something else that summer.